Everyone anime with more Slay the Spire. But not just regular Slay the Spire. This is Beta Slay the Spire. Slay the Beta because fourth character in Beta, the Watcher. I normally don't do this. I normally wait for content to get to live servers to check it out. But I love Slay the Spire. I just couldn't wait. I couldn't help myself. So switch over to Beta server. Checking out the Watcher. A blind ascetic who has come to evaluate the Spire. Master of Divine Stances. Uh, starting relic, pure water, the start of each combat, add a miracle into your hand. Don't know what that means, but it sounds like it could be awesome. Don't have any unlocks, of course, because it's a new character. I don't think I even have all the relics done, like, unlocked on the beta version. So, well, whatever. <laughs> We're just playing it as is. Um, 65 HP strikes me as low. That's because it's the lowest. Okay, cool. Embark. I got it. Ugh, scratch on the side. She looks pretty cool. Kind of like, I like the style so far. Greetings. Um, we can just take... Max HP, I suppose. Oh, my guards. All right, the beta art, you know, beta art is all subject to change. So strikes and defends. Enter wrath. In wrath stance, you deal and receive double damage. So it's a berserker type stance. And vigilance enter calm, which upon exiting the stance, you gain bonus energy. Okay, okay. So and draw two cards. This seems really good. So it's two extra energy. I can proc whenever I need to, and also drawing two extra cards. And we can, I think just extra, unless I go for an early Elite 5, we can just take some extra HP. Because we don't need to do anything too crazy. Yeah, extra HP, just go for like a base route. Is there a double Elite fight I can take at least? Like a safe Elite fight route? Yeah, safe fish, I can go that way. Sure, we have an early shot, but I can dodge the early shot, because I don't need it. Also, extra, extra HP seems more useful for this character, because she does start off so low. Miracle card, the pure water miracle card. Retain, retain, retain cards, not discard. Okay, that's a new keyword. Retain. So, some of the other characters have relics or cards that let you retain your whole hand, but now there we have C cards that are individually retained. Gain energy exhaust, which so is one free energy for turn. Enter calm, so we can enter calm, and we exit calm. We gain bonus energy. I can strike you. I'm actually going to pop the miracle just to get the extra strike out to burn both of their burn both their curl ups, and then erupt. We enter wrath. So if I erupt on you, we gain extra energy. We are wrathful, which lets us hit for nine and one shot him. Okay, getting it. We're flowing through stances. I know beta art. I guess that's when they don't even have beta art. When they have no art, it's just artwork. This is beta on it. Oh, it's distracting. But well, it's the price I'm paying. Um, because I do love the art in this game. Meditate, exhaust, two cards, enter calm. Interesting. Wave the hand. Wave of the hand. Calm. Apply to weak. Wrath, apply to vulnerable. Okay, so changes if we're calm or wrathful. Retain, deal eight damage. Remember, this cards retain, increase damage by two. Oh, that seems like that's actually potentially pretty good. That seems fun. This seems like a fun card to play around with. Vulnerable. Apply to vulnerable, apply to weak, depending on what thing we're on. It's not too bad. I'll take Windmill Strike. I don't have no idea what we're doing. This is the first time playing the character. I'm looking at it's a lot going on. Oh, is it the Miracle card? Okay, so Miracle is always this. It's always gain energy. Got it. Uh, we want to draw two cards. We want to block. I'm probably using this, um, using the Miracle too liberally, but one extra, one free energy? That's not too bad. We already calm. If like, can I switch from calm to a different calm? Experiment. Doesn't count. Doesn't work that way. Okay, good enough. I cannot proc calm. To try to enter to a different calm. Twenty-four damage. Nine damage. Four, but I, well, yeah, I lose because I'll gain two. So that's free. That gets you for twenty-four plus twelve, which isn't enough to kill you because you'll still have to defend on. So I think we just. Take a soul, or I'll take double damage. We also want to do that. It seems like if you enter wrath, wrath kind of you want to enter wrath at the appropriate time, or you're just going to kill yourself. How much damage is up to? It's up to 16 damage, which I would like. Yeah, eruption, 32 damage. Nice. Okay, I'm getting it. Perseverance, antibody, cut through fate, deal seven damage. Scry, they've added scry. That's awesome. Okay, I might take that just because scry is an awesome mechanic. And now it's here. Now it's in the game. Empty body. Gain. Block. Exit your stance. So that's without changing a new stance. They're just exiting the stance. 
which actually be pretty good if we want to go into Wrath and then get out of it before we get attacked. Retain. Game block whenever it's retained, increase its block. Not bad either. And it's an uncommon, so I'll just take it. So I have two uncommon cards, both of which are retained, both of which gain benefits for being retained. Here, I'm going to actually erupt and strike to get the double damage. And then we can just possibly kill him this turn, right? So I get you for 20, and then we hit you for 12. Okay, yeah, just crushed. Liking the character so far. Retain, enter Wrath Exhaust. Retain, okay. That's good crescendos. That's a, that's when you want to enter Wrath as a finisher. Gain 8 block to previous card as a skill draw card. Pretty good. Retain, 15 block. A lot of retains, I'm noticing. A lot of retains. Uh, 15 block's a lot. Gain to, uh, previous was a skill. We have lots of skills. We have some skills. We have enough skills. I think I'm down for playing the Sanctify. We're going to grab a bunch of cards. We're going to be... We're gonna have a deck that's too fat, and I'm fine with that because we're playing around with all these new cards and how they work exactly. I don't have a shop coming up, so I'm gonna say no. I don't wanna have a curse in this deck. Which all the maintain guards wouldn't maybe wouldn't even be that bad. Let's defend. Let's draw a sanctify. Is that a plane flying overhead? It's either a plane or a neighbor moving the dumpster. I live near near an air force base now, so. Very loud. Uh calm, draw two cards. But we have to defend. We want two blocks for defense. So let's enter Calm. Got two blocks. Oh, I have to a miracle to block, of course. Perseverance gets stronger. Windmill Strike is getting stronger. We are in Calm, so I play this for free, and then hit him for 24 damage plus a little bit of the strikes. Actually, yeah, we, yeah, we definitely want to do that because he's going to be running away now. So I want to pop that. Um, I think we hit him. Windmill strike next turn, hit him for 24. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, good. We're gonna have him for sure. And the turn. Where's my smoke bomb? Doesn't matter. Windmill strike. 22 damage. So good. Oh, this is fun. Enter column, end your turn. Whoa. So this one's your last one. Whenever a card is retained, lower its cost by one. Yeah, that's a good, I guess. Because we already kind of have a retained thing going on. Your next attack deals plus five damage. Which is like 10 damage if you're uh, wrathful. Whatever cards retain lowers cost by one, absolutely. We're going to defend that, and we're going to strike one of you. There. Uh, now that helps me. Now that helps me enter. This cat. We got him a little bit of wet food because you know he's been good. It's been a stressful like couple weeks for him. So we got him his wet food again, and he just loves his wet food. He's over here devouring it. I definitely want to be calm, but I also want to block a lot. So as we can drink a Dex potion, one, two, three. I can just block fifteen. It's most of the damage blocking. I would really like to be... Have a stance, though. I'd like to be calm. Where's my Windmill Strike? Oh, you draw a card. That's pretty good. Drawn to Eruption, which says Enter Wrath. Which only really works for me if I'm already calm about to kill something. This will work for me right now. I think we just Strike Strike. One damage, that's fine. Windmill Strike now gonna be free. We're gonna play that for a good amount of damage soon. Hopefully soon. Enter Calm. I don't want to be Calm. So we're going Perseverance this turn, I think. So we Calm. We gain 11 block. We defend. 16. We only take 2 damage. That's okay. I might be holding on to this Miracle this coin too long. I might be holding on to the coin just, just too long. Too dedicated to holding on to this coin. Five, strike, strike. We can windmill strike just to kill him. You know, it's not, it's not it doesn't exhaust, so we should spend it. And that also lets us see if the cost reduction is retained next time we draw it, which we're trying to learn a lot about this character. Also, one thing about learning a lot about the character is that it might not everything we learn might not necessarily even be true, because we can learn a lot about that character, and then when he's released or she's released, it could just be changes are made. We'll have to keep up. With the changes to the to the monk here to the watcher, this is a bad turn. We're gonna get ah, hey, hey for nine. It's not the worst thing ever. Getting to the point where I have too many dazes. 
Enter Wrath. I'll take double damage. I do want to enter Wrath. I just don't want to do it in a part. I don't want to do it in a point that makes me take too much damage. We need more Wrath cards. We need more cards to uh, uh, change our stances right now. So it doesn't. So okay, so it resets its damage, I think, but it doesn't reset its cost for establishment. Good to know. Oh, I should have killed him. Could have just killed this guy. I didn't do it for no reason. Okay. It just calms all day, all just calms. I can't actually kill you right now. I can't, I just have to burn that, which is fine. Then I hit you with that. And. I'd be looking for eruption. I can play one card, get eruption, but I can't do it right now, so I just think I just do nothing. Now I have eruption. So I need to play that, play that, play the defend. Use the coin finally, hit you, enter wrath. We can now hit him pretty hard. So this turn you should be dead. We only have 10 for 15, we're doing double damage. There we go. Okay, that fight was not beautiful. But we are we're working on it. Spear Shield also goes with the retaining a little bit. Halt. Gain three block. Wrath gain additional so you gain additional block in wrath. Deal four damage. Add this card to your hand when it would be discarded from your draw pile. So I imagine she has some mechanics to discard straight from her draw pile. We haven't seen those yet. I think I take spear shield, just because we kind of have a retain thing kinda of going on. And we heal. We're playing around the character, we're taking a bunch of damage. It's whatever. We're not going to be too critical about our play on our exploratory little uh, adventure here. Okay. I hate the Darkstone Periapt. I never seem to use it for any good. It's power. Going into Wrath right now. I can use that to play Sanctify and draw a card. If that's Is that worth it? Probably not, really. Uh, we want to... Take you down because you'll be getting stronger. See you later, establishment. So we want to block. Not very exciting. You get them, uh, Mercury Hourglass. You show them what's what. So temp, that's actually pretty good. Temp block too. I mean, that's not that good, but it's okay. Like it's okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna be super mad about getting ten block for two. And when we gain, when we draw more cards next turn, it's gonna be much bigger. So what we're gonna do. We're going to actually probably need to play something now because we're gonna be vulnerable. So I should play this first, actually. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to actually play perseverance and strike. Didn't think how that turns super well. Let me just hit you windmill strike. Or eruption windmill strike, but not many more. Cut. So next turn you did. Alright, I like the complexity of the character right now. I like the switching between offense and defense. A double windmill strike might be really strong. Whenever you switch stances draw a card, that's also not bad, but we're not doing a lot of stance switching. Let's go for the sh nah, I kinda wanna go for this elite. Let's go for the event at least. Oh, it's just a fight. Oh, we might die? I don't really want to die. Do I have a potion? Uh, let's go ahead and... <sighs> let's not artifact, but I think we can be okay. So he makes us frail? Yeah, I think we can handle that. Hit you for 32, which just kills you, so... Oh. Wait, I was 16 because it doubled. I didn't count. I doubled it. I then counted it as if it was doubled again. That's not how that works. You're gonna be dead. Retain, 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 retain. Number cards retain. Lower cost. Gorgeous. And then you're dead to the Mercury Hourglass, and I kill you in one shot. Okay. Like that. I like that a lot. Collect. Gain energy. To start. T gain two energy at the start of your next X turns. Deal eight damage. Exit your stance. That's okay. Vengeance. If your HP was less than it was last turn, enter Wrath. It's no way to enter Wrath. We do want to be entering Wrath more than just eruption. And that's also a cheap way to enter wrath. Collect, I'm really into so collect so this, this character might be really for long fights. Cause that's that's a very long term value. 
get plus two energy. If we play it on three three energy, that's plus two energy for the next three turns. Which is a lot of energy, but it's, it's obviously very spread out. Exiting your stance helps with Calm more, because you want to draw those cards off. It also keeps you from getting killed from Wrath, so you can pop in and out of Wrath. I think they another way to turn Wrath, to become Wrathful. Let's go for our open fight. Not a lot of ways. I think I wanted to draw a card. Especially if we get retain cards, we really want to keep those pumping right now. Okay. End of turn. Perseverance. I think we just chill again. And now we get ready. Now we attack him. Oh, he doesn't wake up anyway. Now he's mad. Now we attack. Sixteen blocks, pretty good. Ooh, we also get a random skill. Okay, let's get sixteen block. We don't have a random attack though. Strike him. End the turn. Now all these are free. It's so good. It's a big turn coming up. We can enter wrath, but then I have a way to exit wrath. Needs to be pretty much it kills me. So that seems scary. So wait, these are both doubled? That's not good enough. Let's drink a skill. Exhaust two cards under calm. Seven block. Scry three. Enter calm. It's free. So what we can do here. Okay, I think I have a plan. Maybe. I think maybe I have a plan. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's, I mean, let's play around. So we're exploring here. So we're going to vengeance. We enter Wrath. I hit him with the free Windmill Strikes for lots of damage. Then I also hit him for 18. I strike him. Then we enter Calm. We exhaust our coin. We exhaust our block. Draw a card, block most of that damage. Hey, there we go. That's a pretty good turn. Now we just finish him off. Okay. Did take the all. Oh, we can now gain strength. That seems super good. Dave, Dave, a form. Gain nine plated armor. Not bad. That's okay. Um, this strikes me as a. The problem with this, it's really expensive. Nine plated armor is not bad. It's nine free block every turn, but plated armor is reduced every time you take HP damage. If an enemy attacks multiple times and applies multiple hits to you, this thing can become useless really fast. That's my concern. It's so expensive, and it might not be that great. I do want to play with some scry some more. Deal three damage to all enemies, which can be dealt with a six, and it's a free AOE. That's not bad, but it's also not great. So I don't really want it. I want to play around with some scry. I'm just gonna take someone to play around with scry. I want to lift. But we also need to heal. I think we heal at least once. See what happens here. We get oh hey we get a, a, a good thing, and we gain some strength off the Ingeria. We go fight our boy the Guardian. I think definitely power potion here. Let's see what kind of potions we get. Choose smile or safety. At the start of each turn, add the chosen card to your hand. Well, I don't know what that means, so I might take that. Whenever you play a card, upgrade it for the rest of the combat. That's pretty good. Or just the nine plate armor for free. But he attacks a lot. That might not be that great. I really want to do master reality just because I don't know what that means. Upgrades are great. Upgrading our cards so it was really good. But choose smile or safety. I have to. I have to see what this is about, though. I have to see. Um, gain twelve block, retain exhaust, deal ten damage. Okay, smite. Oh, smite, not smile. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes. I probably could have figured it out from smite and safety. I thought it was smile and safety. It, it's a very gentle. Tea. Come on. Okay. So deal damage. Ten damage every turn. Or twelve block. Yo, we gotta take the damage though. So then we just get smite in our hand every turn. Okay. Draw a card. Scry three. I'm just going to scry. So choose any cards to discard. To defend. Okay. I turn. Eh. All right. That's where he hits us hard. I don't actually have a lot of block here. I feel like I need to do that. 
Or it actually could just hit him. I could just I can just hit him. I can just deal damage. That was that was silly. Yeah, I could just deal, deal damage. Oh, well, forgot. I guess in my concern about how this character works, how this guy works. You can enter wrath and deal double damage. I want that up. And I suppose I want this ready. Edge of two damage. But now you're gonna hit kind of hard, but I can hit you really hard too. So I get 14 blocks, 22 damage. Yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna be sustainable though, because yeah, this I can do 60 damage. We have to enter calm in order to survive. Gain eight block. Oh, I'm not. I'm not liking this right now. Get Perseverance retained. We like retained cards. Okay, now we can Vengeance and do a bunch of damage. Oh, the Smites are free to retain them. Definitely shouldn't be playing them. Should be working on retaining them. 22. I can strike for 14. Does not come down. I have another Eruption, though. Okay, so I'm gonna do that into that. Let's everything else build up over. These all get stronger over time. 18 block. Give it a let it go. Hey, stone calendar went off. And now we can probably just go in all in. Yes. Okay. A little, honestly, our strength got a little low. It was a little concerning. Gain three mantra when you obtain ten mantra enter divinity. I don't know what that means. And shuffle miracle into your draw pile. When you reach ten mantra enter, that sounds awesome. Like something I want to play with. I don't know how that works. Deal eight damage. Shuffle a through violence into your pile, which is a zero cost. Deal twenty damage. That's good. That's good. Um, wallet. Deal twelve damage. Gain block equal to unblocked damage dealt. So I can be deal twelve, gain twelve. Not bad. I really want to work on Mantra to enter Divinity. And shuffle a coin into your draw pile. It's not that good, but Divinity, what would Divinity do? Getting a free zero cost, deal 20 or 40 damage if we're uh, Wrathful, though, seems amazing. And it already deals damage as well. I gotta work on these Mantras, though. I don't. That seems like something I want to pursue. Oh, the new route. Slavers of Color during boss and elite combats gain energy to start of your turn. That seems great. Yeah, that seems like something that would be useful. Maybe not necessarily in Zero Ascension, as useful as just getting like a Black Star, getting more more relics or fighting elites, but if higher ascensions when the elites and bosses are much more lethal, that's probably great. It's probably just a, a really, really powerful relic to have. We want a shop. Right here, let's go to that shop. Hello? Um... I have attack potion here. Do I have one attack potion here? Probably gonna go avenge. I can't go on vengeance next turn. Draw some cards. I think it's a defend, a coin defend turn. It's pretty weak, but it saves my HP a little bit. And now. Might be an attack. It's strictly attack card. Lesson learned deal 12 damage. If it kills the enemy, upgrade a card. That's so awesome. Deal 8 damage if the enemy intends to attack. Enter calm. Deal eight damage, exit your stance, which is card draw, right, for us? No, it's gain energy, which is fine. That's not what I wanted. Just the, uh, I misplaced. New character. Dude, I don't know what my neighbors do. There's a lot of, like, work happening out here. Okay, so let's draw a card. We... Need to deal lots of damage, that's what we need to do. We uh, this guy's gonna take our money, I can't do anything about that. These are all very expensive cards. Discard both those. Alright, so you're gone. We're just trying to kill this guy now. Should be pretty easy. Hopefully it's pretty easy. Which is just that. As we pray. 
if I play lots of praise, we enter divinity. So I need to play like four prayer cards, which is a lot. Deal five damage, was attack, gain energy. Not bad. Deal seven damage for each enemy in combat. Eh, okay. And then there's the block, gain block, and wrath. Follow up might be. Oh, okay. Doors open and shut very, very loudly around here. Uh, if the previous card plays an attack, gain energy. I do like that. Previous card plays an attack, gain energy. Like I said, we're gonna have a fat, oversized deck anyway during this. That might be okay. We don't have a ton of attacks though. Maybe I don't take that. Yeah. Okay. We, I, I want to play with. I want to play with all the cards, but a deck with all the cards isn't necessarily good. Shuriken's just fantastic. Let's look at the advantage. Look at the cards. Take advantage of opportunity. To look at these cards though. Whenever you switch stands to draw a card, exhaust draw a card. This is cost two zero this turn. We have a lot of expensive cards. Another windmill strike. Not bad. With what we're going for right now. What we have right now. And we take that. We take shuriken because it's so good, and then we just remove a card, move a strike or something. Do I have anything else worse? I don't have any curse or anything. Nope. Okay. We proceed. More fights. Yeah, try to hit me. Shell parasite. Draw a card. We can enter Calm, draw two more cards, but he's hitting me, so I don't necessarily want to do that. We could just block. Um, phew, only 11 block. On him. Can't get through it. Distracted by my brother speaking way too loudly. He has a problem controlling the volume of his voice. I I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. We definitely want to gain the mantra. Because I want to see what happens when we become divine. We only need to gain to, so I think we can do this just fine. Let's pray. We third eye to scry. We get rid of these two, because we mostly just want to cycle through for our mantra again. I take a little bit of damage. I think that's okay. Or I can just Perseverance. To ah, it's not worth it. It's worth it later. Yeah, I want to see what happens when we enter Divinity. So I'm going to go hard on that. Or we can just kill him with a Vengeance. Not enough to actually kill him, though. Really need Establishment up. I'm just going to play that right now. It's super important. Should play that first, whatever. So these are all cheaper, and we enter... Okay, so we have three Windmill Strikes. They're all getting lots of damage. And then when we enter Eruption, when we enter Wrath, we're going to be doing a ton of damage. Can I gain enough block here? We could just Perseverance. That not be necessary, though. Okay. I think we do do... Yeah, we definitely play it. Pray. Perseverance. I have extra energy still. Hit him. Block it. Don't need to block it. We just hit him. Doesn't do him any good because not hitting for three with Shuriken. Okay. We gain energy. Vigilance. Just blocks. Just blocks on blocks on blocks. Okay. So don't take too much damage. I need. I need to see what divinity means. Taking lots of damage for this, but I need to see. So one more play. Don't enter Wrath right now. Just block. And turn. He almost died with some gounder. Please? Scry. There's nothing in our deck to scry. Alright, fair enough. Whatever, just get it. Just, just go. Is Divinity like both or something, maybe? Now we can scry. Don't want any of you. Dude, where's my prayer? There it is. We are now Divine Pond and Drinking Stance. Gain triple, gain three energy. Attacks deal triple damage, and you exit the stance at the start of your next turn. Okay. 
So just one turn of bone of hyper wrath. Okay, not as cool as I hoped. I'm still pretty cool, but it's not like I'm even cooler. Carve reality. Deal four damage. Choose smite or truth. Add the card to your hand. Okay, smite, not smile. Smite or truth. We had this is like a smaller version of that power we had. Perseverance. We're so into these. Keep your cards though. Right now, retain. Carve reality is pretty good because you retain. You also retain the card from carve reality though. That the the smite and smite and the other one are also retain cards. I could eruption on them. Right now, that seems. Eh. This is. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, we're really going hard there. I don't have a way to. I only have one way to get out of my stance. We can just art, artifact this. We don't have to worry about being. We don't have to worry about his uh, nonsense. I can't. There's nothing to play. I got nothing to do here. We both, we both just skipped our first turn, more or less. Do that. Scry. Not entering Wrath, I don't think. It's so early. Spray. Enter. So Prey is not as... Yeah, if we were going specific... It seems like... Okay, so we can set up a triple damage in turn. Huge. Um, our deck is... I don't think our deck's really, like, meant for that. Our deck's really, like... Uh, conducive to that. Here I will defend. I'll hit you here. I'll keep the smite for the bonus damage for our big high damage turn. Ooh, which isn't this turn. Definitely not this turn. Ah, it's close to being this turn. But it's not this turn. I have more, I need more perseverance. I need more defense in this deck. I feel like we have like, so many strikes. Get, get out of here. I don't need you. I don't want you. If we smite, we get the bonus strength. That's probably not worth it. Like a windmill for a little bonus damage. Also probably not worth it. I guess I just take 11 damage. Really not what I wanted. Okay, let's defend. Sanctify. Draw another card. Play another defend. End the turn. Hmm. Taking a lot of damage here. Praise and reload I'm going for. We can... Scry again. We want to enter Wrath, for sure. If we're going to enter Wrath, we're going hard for a, a kill here, so I'm going to keep, get some sort of attacks. Unfortunately, I don't take any damage. It's not actually going to work. That was silly. Because it only works if my HP is less, my HP is not going to be less. So I'm, I'm not... Vengeance doesn't work here. Deal six damage draw card. That's different from the other one. So it's not the same one. That's different. That's a different card. Can't. Okay, mm, mm. I might be at the point where I can just hit him, kill him with regular, with regular windmill strikes. It's a decent amount of damage. And we have the smite in here too. So yeah, he's dead. We didn't have to become angry. <laughs> we didn't need wrath. Flurry of Blows, deal three damage three times. On stance change, returns from the exhaust pile to your hand. Exhaust. Oh, okay. That, doesn't seem, that seems okay. I think I feel like we need something specific to really enable that, though. Which I don't know what it is yet. Gain eight block, next tech you play cost zero. Not terrible. Gain 11 block, oh, it's upgraded. Skills, bonus, card, draws. Go. Yes, um, Prey. I don't think Prey's working out for us. Not on this end, it's a uh, rare, which we get the best reward for. Max HP and HP full heal, which let's go fight this guy pretty... Okay, hopefully, like, alright. So we want to scry. I don't think we need either of these two right now. I'm gonna draw one of these cards. And just let the retain bonuses proc. Probably drinking the dexterity potion here. Defend. I think we carve reality on this guy to get another card draw out. Which is an eruption. Uh, nine, I do want to gain more blocks, so it's perseverance. 
can't do anything else. Unless I want to strike him for one, which does gain his strength. I'm actually going to do that. Or the shuriken bonus. Not terrible. Got our establishment up for cheaper cards. If he ever stops hitting me, I would like to... If he ever stops hitting me, I would like to erupt and wrath him. Maybe we get zero cost cards out. That'd be really helpful. I draw two cards. I need to talk to my parents about the home phone. It rings a lot. They're wasting money because they're not using it. They're not using it. Why are they paying for a phone? Because I hear it ring all the time, I've never once been at this house with someone answering the phone. So I need to talk to them and be like, why do we have a phone? I think the only reason I can think of it is for them, because my young nephew is uh, living here, and he doesn't get have a personal phone, so that might be like a cellular device. So that's the only reason I can really think of it is to fight. Because they never use the thing. So why do you have it? Uh, slap him. I do take a little bit of damage, which enables Wrath, but we just discarded Wrath, so I don't have Wrath. Skill. We can do that. They're both attacks, though. I think I retain the smite. Play that. Play that. Play that. Oh, here's our wrath again. Oh, I can't. I need ways to get wrath reliably. I'm not getting them. I get them pretty hard, but... Uh, 18. Defend. Let's scry. Okay. Right. He only hit me for. No, he hit me. He hit me. I th okay, we have enough block. Okay, we're 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 wrath. That's the wrong one. Now we're angry, and he's dead in like two hits because I overdid it again. Hard to balance. <laughs> it's hard for me to get that balance. Um. And yeah, I don't know how to make that work yet. Damage and scry, block and scry. We have the block and scry. We don't have damage to scry. Let's also draw. It. That's a really good. Scry to draw one. We have so many cards, though. I think we gotta start skipping. I like seeing all these cards. I'm very excited. We need to lift. I would also like to upgrade cards, but actually, strength is really good. I don't know what upgrades. Choose upgraded smite or truth and does more damage. Increase damage by three. Upgrade. Upgrading these windmill strikes to actually be really good. Scry five. That's insane. Free vengeance. Pretty good. Extra block. These are these upgrades are pretty good. Innate. Oh boy, we should upgrade to that. Instead of the three strength, we need to upgrade to innate. I think that's always gonna be our next objective here. On you. More damage. Let's scry. We don't need to become calm. Don't need the strike, I think, either. And the turn. When will strike cheaper, it's my cheaper. Twelve, twenty-four damage. That's a lot of damage going back and forth. Don't think I need to do that just yet. Let's hit you. Hit you. Actually, smite you. Cause that gets you almost dead and gets you more strength. The windmill strikes are getting beefier as well. So he's about dead. We can enter wrath. You know what? Let's go for it. Why am I going for it? That's thirty damage. Not enough. That's twenty-six damage. Not enough. So that's actually a bad idea. Why would you do that? Again, instead, let's play the Miracle to activate Sanctify and draw a card. The Defend. Def I really need to kill one of these guys. There's, there's no point for us not killing one of these guys. So let's use the weakest Windmill Strike, I think. Let's use the weaker Windmill Strike that costs one so I can play the other Defend and not take any damage. Okay. Okay, kill one of you. Should be able to, right? If I do one, two, three. But now I have to play. That's kind of overkill. This card. This, this, this character has some complexity here that we're working through. When you go into. It's, I must say, it's really satisfying when you go into Wrath Boat and just, and just destroy somebody. Uh, crush joints. Three of this card played was a skill. Apply vulnerable. That's cool. 
Oh, we have so many cards now. Like, it's actually becoming a problem. Uh, they have so many just random cards in here. Deal 9 damage if it was... That can be so strong, though, with our... When you enter Wrath form. We just don't have a lot of ways to enter Wrath form, though. Is our problem. And this guy is also a problem. She's just a scary enemy. No crush joints. The last, play, last card played was a skill. Let's do that. Crush joints. That's only one vulnerable. That only applies for this turn. That doesn't even like, matter that much. Yeah, I can hit you there for a little bit more damage, which is okay. Enter. Don't much care for being enfeebled. And we have to exit column to get any bonus anyway. Ugh. I don't have the bonus. Like, we're not. No bonus for that. Don't know why I drew a card when I had no energy left to make it with it. Hmm. This is a big brain character. Draw a card, or I just start going ham on damage. Next turn, our weakness ends. Yo, I'm going, we're going hard here. We gain strength. We are still enraged. We have a bunch of damage off this windmill strike. We're no longer weakened. We are weakened now. But 19 damage is still enough. Okay. Too complicated. Enter calm exhaust. This is free. But it doesn't matter if we're already calm. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. End your turn. Conclusion. Oh, that's a decent AoE. Of course, that's the last thing we do. Which, if we're Wrath form, scores 20 damage to all enemies, which is fine. We can enter Wrath. This is just a straight up drop into Wrath. I think I underestimated this card before. Just drop into Wrath. At will. Seems really important. This isn't the kind of fight I wanted to be in right now. Okay. Actually, going to Miracle into Sanctify for a free draw. I'm going to crush joints on you and strike you, and now we did later. We're still taking some damage here. We can skill potion. Unplayable. When you draw this card, add two miracles to your hand and exhaust. Okay. Choose one of three attacks to your hand. These cards can be of any color. That sounds fun. Or just gain 15 block. I want to kill you. I'm going to. This seems fun, though. What is this? Wait, do they not. Hold on. I was like, wait a sec. It's going to be. It doesn't cost zero, though. There's no point in the potion. And then I took it and I realized, wait, what it gives me is it going to cost zero, huh? Um, can I kill you in Wrath? I can not, for sure. That way you're not. I can just gain 10 block. Not exciting. I think we actually enter Calm here. Gain. Gain 2 energy, but we have to be in Wrath. And that's scary right now. I actually don't want that. Or that. Because we're going to try try to kill him next turn. We have a lot of damage here. Isn't enough, though. Maybe. We also have a lot of energy. Okay, we're gonna enter Wrath. Boom. Five energy, doing double damage. 28. 28. 24. Yeah, okay, he's super dead. <laughs> That's what I thought. Whatever Sir Sand Shock card. Not doing a ton of that. Not doing a ton of that. We're skipping these cards. As much as I would like to play with every single card, we, we realistically can't really do that. Let's heal up. Oh, I have the Dreamcatcher. Upgrade away of the hand, apply three weak, apply three vulnerable. Not terrible, because it's upgraded. Applying vulnerable when we are hyper, hyper ready to kill them, pretty strong. This seems bad for us. Seems like a real bad fight for us. We actually don't have, we weren't taking AoE, and we also become very vulnerable when we go go hard to kill an enemy. Okay, defend. Draw a card, get more block. Draw a card, get more block. Get more block. Okay, lots of blocks. Windmill strikes ready to go. Next turn, really. They're really ready to go next turn. They, they need to die this turn, though. All right. Okay, as much as I hate burning through all of that, it that's what it is. We have a little bit of block, and we 
just yeah, eat a bunch of damage. Ouch. Okay, we can apply vulnerable on one of you, which is definitely good. Apply vulnerable on you. Hit you with that, and then just hit you with a smite to kill you. And then I can gain enough block to not take damage from you. And our oh, for once an empty hand. I'll let that one go. We're not taking any damage. It's fine. But these get stronger and these are dead. Okay. Already a hard fight. Pen nib could we could do so much damage with pen nib. Exit your stance structure cards could be really good. Retain, deal four damage twice. So again, retaining we're really happy with. Because of our retain buffs, which slows us down a little bit. And that's sixteen damage for zero when we're crescendo when we crescendo. Exit your stance though must be useful. Because <laughs> we can we have ways to get out of wrath if we just want to dip into wrath and then get back out of wrath. Uh, dang, really? <laughs> Come on, we just took the unupgraded version. Ugh, Ender Calm Exhaust. I think I skipped these. Ender Calm for one might be really good. Especially with the ability to exit more stances. Whatever, just put these in garbage, just shove them in there. Shove these garbage cards right into the deck. I'm ready. Oh, we need to obviously play our, our power. And nothing else to do other than hit you in the face. So if I play that, okay. Say so if I play that and it's not true, which nothing happens, yes, the answer is absolutely nothing happens. I'm not calm or wrathful right now. So this does nothing. I see. Okay, we're gonna hit you once. We're gonna hit you twice. I'm gonna hit you again, the windmill strike, just to get extra power or extra strength. And get you closer to dead because we're gonna we're not gonna live long with all three of you hitting me. Okay, let's enter calm. Draw a card. Hit you with that. Draw a card, hopefully a Oh, we need a block. Mm, yeah, we should get blocked. Truth thought to truth retained. Which is fine. We're down with retaining truth. We're already calm. Can enter wrath and deal some damage. It's retained though. Which I need you to die. Enter Wrath, get a bonus energy. Hit you with that. Let's. Finish you off. Now that we're here. I want to weaken you or make you vulnerable? I want to make you vulnerable. Now I hit you for 39 is a decent hit and gives extra strength. Now let's just go back to Calm, draw some cards. Oh, we get massive debuffed. Oh, I forgot about that part of the fight. <clears throat> okay, draw some cards. Draw our card. I think I want to hit you with that and grab a... Smite! Pen nib's ready to go. I'm not ready to go pen nib, though. Definitely scry... A lot of cards to play off of that. Burn Pendant for 21 damage, which is actually 31 damage, which is okay. So I will do it. Need your strength. Doing that as well. And I got these guys back. 10 block? Not good enough. Can enter Wrath and probably kill these guys. I think it'll work out. I think it works out. So we enter Wrath. I hit you for... Oh boy. Maybe it doesn't work out. K. 
Okay. I hit you for 25, which kills you exactly. I hit you for 22, which gives you extra strength. I hit you for 22 again, so you don't kill me. Yeah. And then that's it for that turn. Now he's hitting me for, um... It's a lot of damage. We need to be calm. Definitely need to be calm. Enter calm. That reduces his damage. We hit him with the weak. Boom, damage is even less. We X our stance, get some energy back. We then... Gain block. Gain block. Gain block. Okay. Just don't counter him a little bit. We ended up going from getting one shot to taking one damage. Uh, are we building up for like a wrathful turn? Turn of the wrath. I think so. That turn's pretty weak, though. I would love a turn to actually pop off here. I suppose we don't need it, because we can just hit him with a pen mid and take him down. Alright. Character's really strong. Obviously, we're working on playing. Deal 5 damage to a random enemy 5 times. Nice. Deal 12 damage. Wrath, enter calm, calm, enter wrath. That seems really good. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, Ragnarok's also really good. It's a lot of damage. It's like 50 damage if we're... If we're in wrath mode. But it's to a random enemy, which might not be... You know, but then also we have the extra strength and pendant in there with that with those combos right now to be hitting for uh, massive damage. Oh, wow, these are so expensive. They're very expensive. Some of these cards are very expensive. I'm thinking they're flow state or Ragnarok. Wallop seems kind of eh, well. I guess Wallop if you're in Wrath mode, it's double damage, so you can get actually a lot of block out of it. But the enemies will be hitting you twice as hard anyway. So I feel like it cancels out regardless. I like the idea of changing our stances a lot, so it might be going towards slow state, but dropping a huge Ragnarok. Dropping a huge Ragnarok seems really flashy, but maybe less reliable. Energy, any energy. Double the effectiveness of potions. That's a new that's new. Snekawai. Or we can just go hog wild on Snekawai. We have a handful of expense cards, but they all reduce in cost anyway. So that might be bad. No longer Smith, we're not really Smith. We need energy. We need energy so bad. This character has a lot of expensive cards. Then again, they're not that expensive because they do some cost. I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. One, two shop. Uh, elite, elite. Can you just, you know, classic elite. Campfire, elite. With a shop somewhere in the middle. Or at the end. Or shop anywhere. Do, do, do. No shops, but some question marks. It could be a shop. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see what's up. Of course, establishment. Be under calm. Crush your joints. Strike you. And then you know what? Block a little bit of the damage. Come back. We're going to one shot these guys to reduce our thorns damage. I think is the idea there. Will be the idea there. Which one draw cards? Receive double attack damage. It's only when they're attacking me, it's gonna be a problem. So we can actually hit you with that. We enter wrath. That's fine. Take a turn. They're not attacking me. So we just gotta watch out for their thorns. So I play block. Sanctify, and then hit you with a wave of the hand to make you vulnerable to then kill you with the smite. Got it. I can still hit you as well and not take damage. And then here. Okay, we. Vigilance to draw cards. We then crescendo to gain the energy back. We be, 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 be. can then go back into calm. No real reason to do that yet, though. 
Uh, cause we're just looking for blocks to hit you and kill you. Just lucky. Scry one, gain two block, deal three damage. Eh, that's not terrible actually. Deal five damage to all enemies for f full free. Uh, our boss is the one big guy though, so I'm not too worried about AoE. This empty fist. I think I've been under. I think I'm underrating exit your stance cards. But Scry gain two block, deal three damage. Not gonna be helpful against the punishing anti combo guy. Does it defend? Yeah, get out of here. Thank you. Incense Burner is an amazing card, uh, relic. Well, we're neither stands right now, so I'm doing any good. Does the pendant? Oh, it's my attention. <laughs> I was ready to go. Alright, well, see a pendant. Okay. Then we're in calm mode. We need to apply weakness. Exit to gain energy back. Gain block. Gain block. Deal a little bit of damage. Get smite in there. Yeah. So many windmills and, and such. Enter calm. Oh yeah, just enter calm. And then I can crush your joints even though I'm not only attack you once a turn. Or I can't hit you for 18. Add the play a coin, hit you again. Do I need you to be dead though this turn? Not necessarily. Well, I can do it. I can do it here though, and then do it here just to get you close closer to being dead. Don't really need to wrath right now. Or maybe we could. We can I kill them? 26, 15, not quite. I kill one. I take care of the other one. Maybe we have enough blood. Okay. We third eye. Don't need that. You're right now. That lets me reshuffle and draw a new card. So that lets me draw two cards and gain energy back. This will become free though next turn. So maybe I'll just buy another turn. Maybe I'll just enter a column again. But we need more, more block. Okay. Sure, okay, enter column, more cards, more blocks. We're only getting hit for seven, so I can definitely crescendo. So we become angry. He can hit you. You're not going to attack me. I strike you. I make you vulnerable. And then hit you with the weaker one. One shot you anyway. And shot. Okay, that's. They're dead. You got it. Good job. Scroll. Draw three cards. Cannot play skills. That sounds terrible. That sounds very hard to deal with. To, to, to make anything work with. Um, empty body. You have enough stance switching. I think we're okay. Although maybe exiting stance, a lot of exiting stance, maybe it would have been good. Our potions are full. These are, well I guess I can do that into that, draw a card. Wasn't a great card. Pendant is now available. We don't have any big hits early in the early in the fight, so Pendant is going to get wasted again. Not in a stance. Let's scry. They're hitting me pretty hard. Probably wouldn't even want to. Maybe shouldn't even kept perseverance. Ugh. Cause I just draw perseverance to try to reduce the damage a little bit. This is not retained. I can play it to retain a card though. I'll retain smite. I play plated armor just for a little bit of armor. I think I've been maybe it's been disrespecting plated armor. Did a lot of damage here. Okay, it's so crescendo time. Could be. I 
We have enough damage to make it happen. So we kill that guy. One shot that guy. Kill that guy. Can make you vulnerable for later. And then guess what? All's well. We're calm. We're calm. Make you vulnerable? Do we enter Wrath? Can I kill you if I enter Wrath? Oh, he's already vulnerable. That's just a ton of damage. Does this work twice? The enemy intends to attack and draw That's That's pretty good. I kind of want to see if a double upgrade establishment procs twice. Seems kind of dangerous. I'm like a scary enemy. <laughs> Uh, get the extra strength bonus? Boom. Maybe we should drink our strength potion for that. This guy might just kill me. He's hitting 445 after all. Uh, let's cry. Four. Oh, all these are good, but they don't help me not get killed, is the problem. So we just throw chuck those. So I can enter calm, draw some cards. We then. Weaken him. Block. Block. Yeah, looks like I apply twice. This is everything zero now. Once it, once it goes through. Might be worth the double play though. We can wrath him because we're, we're ethereal. We just don't have any damage right now. We don't have a lot of damage for that. Pendum's about to come up, but even so, like it's a decent hit, but it's not a great hit. We do have empty mind, so I can get back out of it. Okay, let's just let's try. We're, we're messing around here. Okay, we want to do it on pen nib. I don't have enough attacks. <laughs> oh no, okay, that was exactly the right attack. It's 52 damage and one. Not terrible. Um, and then we exit our stance. Draw some cards, draw another card. Make him vulnerable, doesn't do anything, but he gets some extra strength at least. He's not doing any damage. This is all just, these can just chill. So, end the turn. Now we're just hitting him for one. I'll just set your calm while we have a moment. Which keeps him weak for longer. Hit him for one damage. Yeah. Enter Wrath. Can't kill him. I don't have damage right now. I have some damage, but not enough damage. Can enter Wrath for free just for extra energy. And then draw some cards. It's pretty weak, but I might have to do it. Yeah, that was really weak. Okay, cool. Okay, and then we. Where's my. Uh... Oh, wait, where you are? I didn't hit him when I was wrathful. I really messed that up. Yeah, alright, and then we just did. Huh. You know what? That's fine. I lost track of the, the stances for a second, and we died. But that's fine, it's our first time playing the Watcher, and the deck was terrible because we were just taking every card that looked cool, which I'm totally fine with because we're just looking around. Gain two mantra, gain one vulnerable, add insight. What's insight? It is retain, draw two cards. Not good. A lot of retain. So one thing about this retain mechanic, especially with the... Retain seems pretty good because it's a card. You just play the card when it's best for you to play. Um, we had the cards that are retained become cheaper, so it's even stronger over time. But when it's a bunch of attacks, like then our, our hand is full of cards that aren't useful at the moment. It's a prostrate. Uh, yeah, Mantra to become get that Ultra Wrath for a turn. That is something I think I think the best decks might be Divinity decks. You build up big, huge, triple damage Divinity uh, attacks because you can get so much damage off that. But you just have to be maybe slow. You just have to really, really plan it out because you need it on the right turn to get that. Oh, whoa! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Enter Divinity, die next turn. This sounds like my kind of card. You gain three energy, triple damage, but you die. if you don't win, you die. That sounds fun. It's only one energy. Um, I think you can set up a lot of easy kills this way. Especially if you have retained card. Like a retained windmill strike, windmill strike that's been building up damage. Now it's a triple damage. You gain three energy, you can play with other attacks with it, maybe make them vulnerable. That seems like it could be a ton of damage. Devotion to start every turn, gain two mantra. Oh. So every five turns, enter Divinity. Not bad either. Okay, fun. Fun character. I'm super excited to look at her more. 
uh, explore some more. Maybe try real decks instead of just taking every cool card, but I can't make any promises because I'll probably just keep doing that for a couple more runs just because it's, it's too exciting and I like I like messing around with it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, enjoy the video, subscribe for more fun on Twitter. Like, you guys know the deal. I'll see you next time. And your obscure compliment is that you would be a wonderful monk or whatever to say. Oh, she's an ascetic, which is a, you know, it's a monk type person. You know what I mean. See you later.